Hello, fellow fragrance lovers, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you my take, my little review, on the newest Kaoli release. That is the Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. Yes, that is a mouthful, but, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's fine. All the names are fine with me. That's just fine. Uh, although so, some people have been saying they think it's a little bit long but that's neither here nor there. What I'm going to do is tell you my take on this. I have been testing it for a couple weeks now. I'll get into all the background info and my experience with it in just a moment. But first, if you're new here, welcome. I am Limelight Lass, and I talk predominantly about fragrances, and especially fragrances that get you noticed, put you in the limelight. That's kind of my vibe. So if you're interested in that, I would love if you subscribed. And of course, Thank you uh, to those of you who already are subscribed to me. It's been great to reconnect with you guys. I know I had a really long break there while I got myself together with the moving and all of that, and I'm still unpacking things, but I do have this amazing new uh, shelving situation here. Uh, this is probably the thing that really sold me on um, running this house. I just, I was like, oh, this is perfect for my perfumes, but I'm not even finished filling them in, truth be told. So I will be doing a collection video soon. It's just going to, uh, it's going to be quite an undertaking. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. And now I'm going to get right into this fragrance. I do just have the travel spray because this was a blind buy. I was not able to get to the store and all of the hecticness <laughs> of my life, but I had a, I had an inkling that I would like it because the sound of the notes, you know, it was like up my alley. And as you can see, I have uh, gone through a little bit of it here because I have been testing it for a couple weeks. Now, um, I kind of wanted to get in on this earlier because I think now you know, everyone and their Aunt Fanny has made a video, from what I know, um, about this. But number one, things were just way too crazy. Um, I've been running around like a, like a, yeah, <laughs> like a whatever. And, um, but the other thing is, I really wanted to test this out a lot before I gave my opinion on it. But there are a lot of opinions, apparently. Now, I only want, and I tested out for a while first, and then I watched videos. So I had, like, nothing to go on. I didn't even know, like, the story behind, allegedly, this is supposed to be somehow connected to um, the Vanilla 28, which I love. Um, but I watched four videos, I think it was four videos, only because uh, people that I already subscribed to did videos on it. So, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't search for it. They just came up on my feed because several of my favorite perfume YouTubers did reviews. And I will say they were quite mixed. <laughs> and so I, so I was thinking, do I even really want to do a review on this? Because now so many people have. I didn't get in on it in the beginning like I did with Love Fest Burning Cherry. Like I was like one of the first people, which was really cool. But here's where I am going to. I know I'm talking so much. I, I tend to do that. But um, why I felt it necessary to make this video is because I wanted to give you a different take on it than it seems like other people are saying about it, or maybe some reassurance that if other people don't like it, you might still like it. You know what I mean? I did. So I only watched like four videos, but in those four videos, the YouTubers were talking about how they watched a bunch of videos that were saying different things about this. So that's kind of how I know what's what's out there. Let me give you the notes of this. So this is Vanilla Sir Absolute, whatever Sir Absolute is, uh, Golden Rum, Creme Brulee, Brown Sugar, Royal Oud, and Sugared Patchouli. Now, I loved the sound of all of that. So I thought, okay, this is, I have high hopes for this. And um, I'm going to spray to remind myself here. <laughs> so when I first spray this, I do get quite a bit of rum. Now I love I love a good cocktail. I love I love rum. So that is absolutely no problem with me. I know that that is a note that sometimes rubs people the wrong way. 
I like the rum. So I get a lot of rum right off the bat. It's kind of the predominant thing <laughs> and when I when I first first spray it. Mmm. And I do get um, a hit of the oud right away. And then it, it, you know, it settles down a little bit in a few minutes. So when I first sprayed this, I was like, okay, that's a lot of rum, which I like, but I wasn't quite, you know, I wasn't quite sure how much I liked it. Like I knew I liked it, but it was like, mm, do I like this? I don't know. So as it dries down, I do get all of the other notes. Like I smell everything that, that they say is in here. So um, I do get the vanilla. Now, one of the criticisms, actually I think a, a couple people said it, um, was that they didn't find any similarities whatsoever to the vanilla 28. That this didn't make sense as like a spinoff of it or whatever it was supposed to be, a deeper or sexier version of vanilla 28. I'm going to tell you, now this is just me, everyone's nose is different, but I am telling you, I do smell the Vanilla 28 DNA in there. And I know maybe I'm in the minority with that, but I smell it. I do smell it. Now, if I smelt this and you said like, what other fragrance is this like a spinoff of or a flanker to or a deeper version of? I don't know that I necessarily would have said Vanilla 28. But knowing that it's in there, to me it's in there. Okay, so I get it. I get the vanilla. I get the vanilla. Okay. And I do quite enjoy that one. So I've heard all kinds of things like that this maybe smells like bug spray or some other unpleasant things. And I'm just telling you, I don't get that whatsoever. And I'm, again, I'm not saying like that other reviewers are wrong. That is their take on it. But for me, I quite enjoy this. <laughs> I really, really like it. But I will say it took me a few times wearing it to be completely sold on it, like that it was a love for me. And... I think even even it maturing just a little bit, you know, for, for a week or so, that made it even better. But I get the vanilla. Here's the other thing. Other reviewers were saying that there was so much patchouli. It was so patchouli heavy. If you don't like patchouli, you don't like it. So I get the patchouli. Now, this is supposed to be, I believe they call it sugared patchouli. Yes, sugared patchouli. And I definitely get that it is a sugared patchouli. To me, it's not skanky or hippie or dirty or earthy or anything like that. It's much more of like that decadent chocolate cakey type of patchouli. The, the bit that I can detect though, to me, this is not screaming in my face patchouli. Again, like if I were just blind sniffing this without knowing any notes, I wouldn't pick patchouli out as like, you know, the first thing I smelled or anything. So to me, it's not a problem whatsoever. <laughs> um, I mean, I like patchouli any anyway. But if you were comparing this to, let's say, like Angel, <laughs> okay, which is a patchouli bomb, no, I don't see it in that realm at all. Again, this this is just me, but I don't see it that way whatsoever. I and I again, I smell the oud but I love oud. So I would say, I mean, my recommendation, if any, because again, this is very personal, um, but I'm just guessing here that if you absolutely cannot stand oud, you hate oud, you hate even the slightest inkling of oud, this might not be the best choice for you, but I'm going to say overall, this is one that I wouldn't blind, but I mean, I blind bought it, but I wouldn't blind buy this. Um, so even though I like it very much, and I think a lot of people would like it, and people around you would probably like smelling it, I don't think this is a safe blind buy. So I would say if you're able to smell it at your local Sephora or whatever, do that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I, I think it's, it's a little bit tricky. The brown sugar creme brulee, you know, so you might be wondering, okay, does is it, you know, all this sugary stuff, is it a gourmand? 
I don't think so. I mean, it, to me, it's, uh, it is sweet, but to me, it's not sickening sweet because I think that the oud and the patchouli keep it from getting, yeah, getting too, too sweet <laughs> too. I mean, like it's, it's different from vanilla 28 in that that to me is very, very sweet. Uh, this one is sweet, but, uh, to me, it's not cloying or anything like that. Now I will say as this wears on, it gets a little bit sweeter as it goes and it starts, this is what it starts to remind me of because it almost has this like incense -y quality as well. It reminds me of those, like those cheap cigars that you get at like the convenience store, like the vanilla ones, like the vanilla cheapy cigars, those. That's what it kind of reminds me of after you wear it for a little while. Or like a, or a, like a vanilla pipe tobacco or something. Yeah, it reminds me of that. So, um, if you're into that whole vibe, I, you might, you might dig this. I don't know. As far as longevity, um, I get, I guess a good like six ish hours. It's not screw. I think when you first put it on, you get a little bit more projection and that dies down a little bit. It's, and again, some other reviewers are apparently saying this is like clear in a room. It's so strong. You know me, I love strong fragrances and you know, you know me, I think alien is like a skin scent. No, maybe not that <laughs> extreme, but like it takes a lot for me to say a fragrance is strong. So that's my point of view. So to me, it's not too strong. I think it's noticeable. And I think people would definitely smell you if they were a few feet away. But I don't see this as something that's so strong and overbearing that it's going to clear a room at all. But again, I am you. My threshold is really, really high. I'm just being honest with you. My threshold is really, really high for strong perfumes. So you might find it to be really strong. This is why you have to test this one. Okay, guys. So, um, I really like that though. When it gets to that point and that more like incense -y vanilla, it's it's a little bit smoky, you know, after it dries down and the and the rum, the alcoholic type of rum situation fades a little bit. And it's very it's just very, I don't know, it's very warm, inviting. And I really, really like it. So I mean, those are my thoughts on this new Kaoli Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. Let me know in the comments, have you tried this? Do you get all of the controversy? Because I feel like there's some controversy over this one, which I didn't ex expect. <laughs> you know, I just, I saw that uh, a few weeks ago, I guess, that uh, this was coming out on Fragrantica because, you know, I obsessively check Fragrantica like every single day and I was really excited and I thought, oh, this sounds really good. Sounds like something people would like, but then apparently it's, it's really polarizing. So I don't know, but yeah, let me know if you've tried this, if you want to try this. And, uh, I, of course I'm giving this the limelight last two thumbs up. Probably we'll have to get a full size bottle of this. Now that I know I like it, maybe when, you know, the next sale happens wherever. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. And I really appreciate all of your support. This has been a pretty crazy time for me with divorce and moving and, and all of that and getting my life in order. So I, I really appreciate all of you who have stood by me and been patient with me. And I can't wait to bring you more content. So thank you so much, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.